I got asked the question the other day online about what prosthetics I have and what care I do to my prosthetics and what uh, repair kits I have with that and spares so these are you know one of each of my spares sort of thing I've got spare liners um, I have spare feet different feet I have spare feet of what I've got now I have spare sockets uh, in case mine break I have completely spare arms this is a myoelectric grypher it, it opens and closes with a sensor somehow I have spare um, arms like I've got uh, I've got spare things to fix these feet comes with a nice sexy box change all the uh, foot stuff off <laughs> and the bushes and things like that never change them, I don't know how hard it is to do but it's there, it's an option then in this bag I have various other things, I have uh, knees if I want them, I can't remember how to use this, how to use this, like that. so that I could bend my knees at a table if I uh, so wanted, um, and I've got lots and lots of spares like this, I, uh, I have my running legs in a bag behind me, that the other day I, I mixed and matched all, all these together and basically made a working set of running legs. Um, well this has the you know basically everything everything I'm gonna need different different hand fittings I've got spare spare socks for my legs spare liners for my arms I've got a you know I've got a robotic hand here that is supposed to go on this um, I just don't use them because the salt well you can see what happens the salt gets into it and it destroys it. You know, I've got spare ones of these but the thing that I found that goes the most are are the screws. They they go rusty with the salt air. So I have to have bags and bags and bags of screws. You see all these little pins and stuff in here? More pins car charges for my legs that I didn't even realise I had. Um, yeah, so I've got all these these spare things which are great if they break, but maybe what happens if a socket breaks? Well, if a socket breaks I can put a new one on, but this socket is a different socket to the one I'm wearing, so it, it would feel weird for a while, but I, I'd be able to, you know, work around it. And if it's just the carbon fibre that breaks, which is most likely, um, I would be able to just sand it down and put fiberglass over it. Now, being on a fiberglass boat, I've got plenty of fiberglass repair kits, so I would be able to do that. Um, yeah, a lot of the time I have to, I have to uh, maintain the ends of the sockets here. Uh, you have to take all these screws off, clean the inside, and then put it all back together um, you know I have I have the spare pins uh, which is great and you know I've got spare I've got a hook here I've got loads under the bed which is where it all lives so under here I've got a basically it's as wide as the bed and it's that it's that deep so it fits all my legs in it, it fits all my arms in it, it fits my running legs in it, it fits you know the ten liners I've got, it, it fits everything, which is great. Um, and when I need something, I usually just come to the bed and then sort it out. But I can, I can change my height here if I want. I could, I could take this black bar out, put this one in if I want it to be a little bit taller. Um, you see how my feet are wearing here. I could, in theory, I could just change the foot over and put a new one on. Because they're the same feet. Um, so yeah, all, all of these like optional spares have given me a lot more range and freedom with what I can do traveling. Um, I hope that answers the question. If there are any more questions, feel free to ask and I'll try and answer.
peace. My arm has come apart from the coupling here that stops the inner from sliding out. So I'm doing, like I've done on this side, I'm putting a washer to help the spread of the um, pressure. So all I've got to do is I've got to unscrew this and then unscrew what? Unscrew this pin here. With an Allen key? With an Allen key. <laughs> all nightmare to do one handed. But well, it's possible. But El Capitano, he can do it. You can do it! Um, and then what we do is we put one of our many washers we have here, which we'll probably need to buy some more, into it. Here we go. Now oh, he's lost it. <laughs> right, so we tried it with this big one, but it's too big. So now we need to try and find little one like this put that come and get a close up of it if you can and put this down mm. that on it and then we push then we have to get some pliers and and we not his hand poke it the rest of the way <laughs> Then we po pock it in like this. Pock. Then we're left with something that looks nice. Like that. Very nice. Then we have to marry it all back up. Like so. Like now, this one here. And if we're lucky, you can do it one handed. <laughs> and when not, you need another hand sometimes. What we're lucky. Oh. You see how it's spinning there though, on the yeah. inside? I see it. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to. I hold it. Get an arm to hold it. Perfect. Now what we should have is an arm that I can go windsurfing with, <laughs> kite surfing with. Should be able to do pull ups. Yeah. Solid. Woohoo! Perfect. You know These pins are for my leg. As you see, this one moves in and out. That would release my leg. That would secure my leg. They can roll. I don't know if you'll be able to see the motion. No, you can't. Um, they, they should spin so that you can screw the leg on. This is a new one. This is an old one. This is a new one. And these are two... This is a broken one. As you see, there's no inner working. And this is one that's cracked. You can see a crack down the middle of it there. Crack? There's a crack in it, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Here. Yeah. I have it. And also, you can't push this one in. So what I'm going to try and do is take the inner workings out of this one and put it in the old one. So, wish me luck. Um, what I need to do is unscrew the top here while securing this hex block. So, let me get to that. So we lock it off like this and then we unscrew the, the top like this. Holy fart sniff. Like so. Oh. Oh, God, that don't work. 
Hmm. Well, we've engaged it so it comes out. I'm just gonna tap it back in. God damn. Yeah, so this one's pretty much broken. Let's see if I can just screw it. See, it screws that way quite nice and easily. That would be the way to screw it onto your leg so that it ratchets on. Like, as you can see here, if I screw this, my leg, the pin on the inside of my leg pulls on more. But it should be able to unscrew, but it's not. Which isn't the best. Because that means that I'm going to have to use a broken one. Hmm. Maybe you hold it for Leave it with me. All day. Right, so we clamp the bottom. See? Screw off the top. Like so. He says, well, as you can see, it's absolutely, positively rusted its tits off inside. So we're gonna get some plus gas on it, some silicon spray and give it a good clean. And then we can put it back together, which is good. Nice. Um, these are all the separate bits that come with this pin. Uh, so this is the full version, everything, you know, the springs all work, it seems to be really nice. A little bit of rust on the inside. Um, this rolls like so. The end screws onto here. This spring sits like that. And obviously as you get there, that's what the spring does, that motion. And this is purely just the housing. Um, so I'm gonna clean all the inside of it because it's filthy probably grease it up and then I'll put it all back together and then I've got two working spares as opposed to two broken and one spare. Cool. So they both work now. One, two, which is good. Um, yeah, job done. Spares. <laughs>